Welcome to the world of hydraulics. This is a video how to change ceilings and water valves to our HBW200 and HBW250 high pressure water pumps. This video follows the guidelines of HBW high pressure water pumps user manual where the replacing seals and water valves is instructed. You can find the detailed instructions from the maintenance chapter, chapter 6. First check that you have all the tools you need that are listed in description and shown in the screen right now. After you have read the instructions and have all the tools, you can start disassembling the pump. First remove the screws from the pump's head. Carefully take out both heads and see that all the O-rings and water valves are attached to the head. If you don't need to change the water valves, take them to a safe place that you don't lose them. For removing the piston assembly, you need a special tool. Do not use a metal rod since it might scratch the inside of the pump's center body. Use a polyethane or other hard plastic rod for removing and installing the pump piston assembly. You can remove the piston assembly two ways. Hold the center body horizontally on the table or on a surface that doesn't let the pump's body to slide. Gently with a special tool and rubber hammer, strike the pump assembly out. If the piston assembly is stuck or is hard to get out, you can attach the pump body to a vise. Make sure that you use cloth in a vise jaws so that the pump body doesn't get scratched. You can also remove the pump's piston assembly in vertically by putting it into a vise. Again, use a cloth around the pump's body so that it doesn't get scratched from the vise's jaws. Now we can take out all the rest of the O-rings in the center body. Next, we can start disassembling the seals from the pump's heads. Remove all the seals and O-rings from the head. Next, we can start disassembling the seals and O-rings from the piston assembly. Gently stroke piston assembly to remove the sealing flange from the piston assembly. Remove the piston assembly from the piston cylinder also by striking gently. Remove the seals and O-rings from the piston and the piston cylinder. Be careful not to scratch the pump cylinder or the piston, since scratches might affect on the pump's efficiency. Remove the seals and O-rings from the piston's ceiling flanges. Make sure that all the O-rings are also removed under the ceilings. First, let's install the piston ceilings to the piston and to the piston cylinder. Take a new package of the ceilings and O-rings. And slide the new O-rings on the piston assembly. Next. Slide the ceiling over the O-ring. This might require a little bit of force when squeezing it in, but gently 
but firmly, squeeze it over it and make sure that the ceiling is evenly on it and makes a straight plane to the outside surface. Next insert the o-ring to the piston cylinder. For assembling the piston assembly, use lubricant like Vaseline to lubricate the sealing surfaces in both the piston and in the piston cylinder. Fit the piston to the piston cylinder and make sure that all the surfaces are lubricated before striking gently the piston into the piston cylinder. Next we install the new ceilings and o-rings to the ceiling flanges. Take out ceilings and o-rings from the new package. Insert the o-rings to the both of the curves inside the ceiling flange. The ceilings are installed over the o-rings. For easier installation, compress the ceilings into a kidney shape, put them over the o-rings and snap into their places. The ceilings differ from each other. The other has a corner or an edge inside the ceiling. Make sure that this ceiling goes to the wider side of the flange so that the inner corner points outside from the flange. Install the other ceiling to the other side. For last, install the o-ring over the ceiling flange. Before installing the ceiling flanges to the piston assembly, also lubricate all the ceiling surfaces. Push the ceiling flanges over the piston rod and push them so that they snap on the piston rod. You might need to use a little bit of force here since the ceilings are new and might be a bit tight. When the ceiling flanges pop in, you can use the rubber hammer to strike them fully in. When the ceiling flanges are in, you can easily push them against the piston cylinder. Next insert new o-rings and ceilings and water valves to the pump heads. Insert the new o-rings and ceilings to their places. Sometimes the ceilings and o-rings don't hold in their places since they are new, and you might need to use a little bit of Vaseline to hold them in their place a bit better. Take time and be patient in inserting the o-rings. Make sure that all the o-rings are flat on the surface before installing them onto the central body. When installing the new water valves, make sure that you use the correct valves to the correct places. Do not mix these valves with each other. You can see the suction valve on the right side and the pressure valve on the left side. With the suction valve, there's a tighter spring inside it. And with the pressure valve, it has considerably less turns. The pressure valve goes to the pump's head. Next, install the new O-rings and suction valves to the central body. After this, the pump is ready for assembling. First, install the other pump's head to the central body. Tighten them into their place.
Next take the piston and lubricate all the sealing surfaces on the piston assembly. Also lubricate the lip of the central body for easier installation. Take this special tool and gently strike the piston in to the central body. You feel when it hits the bottom and inserts the pump head. Next take the other pump head and insert it onto the piston head. Align it properly and gently hit it with the rubber hammer. Make sure that all the ceilings and o-rings are on their place and aligned with the piston rod before pushing it to the end. And for last, tighten all the screws to a torque of 45 Nm. And there you go, that's how you change the ceilings, o-rings and water valves to our pump units. For more detailed instructions for changing the ceilings, o-rings and water valves, check out the user manual. You can find all the instructions over there too. Otherwise, leave a comment below what you think about this video. If you have any questions or just want to like, hit the like button. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, have a great day.